Hey everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and I wanted to come back today and show you my um, feminine version of a card, another birthday card featuring the senior year set. Um, this time I wanted to use some fun bright colors. We're going to do a different color combo um, on today's video, but same layout and design. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm really enjoying uh, this fun set. So for this version we are going to use Balmy Blue. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We are going to give that a nice burnish. I have another piece of balmy blue that is four by five and a quarter, and I've embossed this with the Tasteful Textile embossing folder. So hopefully you can see all that nice texture. We are gonna go ahead and put that down for our top layer. And I'm going to put adhesive all the way around because it's embossed and I don't want it to lift. And I'm actually using my Stamp and Seal Plus, the stronger one. Alright, so we are going to layer that on. I have a piece of our Plaid Tidings DSP. Um, that's a 6x6 six six pack. This piece is 2 by 5 and a quarter. So we're going to add some adhesive here as well and we are going to add that to the front of our card all right and then I've done a little bit of die cutting so I have used our nested labels to cut this piece for our uh, image this is the third largest label I've also cut this banner from the tasteful label dies this is one of my favorite ones it fits uh, most sentiments really really nicely so let's go ahead and stamp our image first in a memento and get our coloring done so we're going to ink that up real well we're going to stamp that she kind of has her hand out and open so I thought we would do some balloons um, for the birthday with this one. So I'm going to bring in my blends here. So I have uh, basic black, I have ivory, uh, I have light lovely lipstick, light rich razzleberry, and the so saffron uh, combo. So let's start with the black and we are going to do her shoes. And then we're going to do the skirt as well. And when this dries, it'll be a little bit uh, lighter. So, although I don't mind the darkness of it either. Okay, so let's do the rest of that. Okay, I am going to do the shirt, I think, in the Rich Razzleberry to pull out some of that color in this DSP. So I'm going to kind of not get too close to the necklace um, because the, the blends do tend to spread a little bit. Um, so just, you can always go back and touch up, but you'd have to use your color lifter if you need to fix something. So we're just going to be a little careful here. Probably could have even used the darker rich razzleberry for her top. Her there, looking good. I think I'll add a little bit of this to her earring as well. All right, let's get our ivory to do our hands, legs, and face. It's like the perfect color. Um, let's bring in the So Saffron for the hair. Blending. Okay. Maybe I'll just do a touch of this lovely lipstick. Maybe on the earrings. Maybe the glasses. Yeah, that works. Okay, not too bad. 
okay, so now we are going to layer together, and hopefully I didn't lose. Okay, so I've used some linen thread, and I've cut a few pieces. I've tied a knot. I have punched um, three of the small balloons from our balloon punch in balmy blue melon mambo and rich razzleberry. And we are going to layer these. So I'm going to put adhesive just on this side of the label because I'm going to want to tuck my sentiment uh, behind. And I'm going to move this over a little bit further than my original because I noticed uh, my sentiment um, was almost a almost too close to the edge. So I wanted, I wanted to change that up. I think I'm going to get my Rich Razzleberry ink. And we are going to stamp the Happy Birthday. And we're going to put this close to um, the right edge of this flag. Okay, it's slightly crooked, but we'll go with it. Okay, and then I also have two sentiments ready for the inside. So we are going to ink those up in the Rich Razzleberry as well. And we're going to put those in the center. It says, it feels like we've been friends forever, which is weird because we're both about 29, right? I thought that was super cute. Perfect for um, the receiver of this card. Can't wait for her to get it. Okay. So let's layer up our balloons here a little bit. So I'm going to put some adhesive on this one. We're going to put adhesive on the Rich Razzleberry one. And I'm going to tuck that one behind. And then I'm going to pop this one up um, with some dimensionals. But I also want to get my ribbon, my thread in here, kind of at the same time. So I'm going to cut some of that off. And I'm going to grab my glue dots. And hopefully this will make things a little bit easier. So I'm going to put one glue dot folded in half on her hand and then we're going to put another glue dot up there. I'm going to fold one up and kind of tuck it under that. And Now I'm going to play with this. So, um, whoops, it's a little twisted. Okay, so this one, I want to direct it underneath that Melon Mambo. And I probably could have even just cut it a little bit more and stick it in there. And it'll catch on to that glue dot. Okay, we're going to put the other one there. And then this one, we're going to sit in the dimensionals of our balmy blue. So we'll kind of hide that and I can still kind of adjust, adjust that, yeah, see, like that. Okay, so now we'll put a couple more glue dots here on the front of our sentiment label. Let me grab those. And we're going to tuck this in under here. Okay, so I just want to make sure I'm straight before I press it. I'll grab one more glue dot and we'll stick that underneath to hold that. So there you go. There are our two versions of our female uh, birthday cards using this fun set, Senior Years. I hope you guys enjoyed um, today's video, and I look forward to being back with you real soon. You can find a full supply list in the description of the video, and I look forward to being back with you real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.